What is going on guys? DBG here and today we are going to be talking about the Christmas Day locker code situation NBA 2K24 my team and what locker code I think we're going to get what code I hope we get and what um just basically what to expect in general but before we get on if you guys are new to the channel subscribe we're trying 20,000 subscribers as soon as possible we are if we can hit that by the end of tomorrow that'd be absolutely insane if we could somehow get like that would be the best Christmas present would be to see a green arrow to be honest but um yeah so if you guys don't know about the Christmas codes the Christmas codes started I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a history lesson if you guys weren't around the Christmas code started in the year of 2019 for NBA 2K20 because there was a fake Christmas code, the official Christmas codes. The real Christmas code started the year previously, and it was a code for a pink diamond LeBron James. And then what happened was um, the pink diamond LeBron came out, and basically everybody got him. He sucked in game. It was a bit like, it's hard to explain it, but it was a pink diamond was terrible. It sucked in game, everyone was excited, and then the next day 2K took them off us. So then we had a locker code on the 26th of December, which gave us a free pink diamond, which were auctionable at the time. Heck, I sold my Yanis that I pulled from that code for half a million. And then that was really the kickstart of 2K19 my team. Like 2K19 my team wasn't in the greatest spot. I will say that, like, it was a weird year, but it actually wasn't in the greatest spot. And then after Christmas, it boomed. It absolutely boomed after Christmas. And a big reason why it boomed was because of that locker code and everybody come back into the game. They then gave us a code for MT as well. In 2K20, there was a locker code. I think we got like a Pink Diamond Wilt was in it. Pink Diamond Stockton, I think, was in the code, if I'm not mistaken. And then there was also a Diamond Zion who was free. 2K21, there was a Pink Diamond Iverson who was free. And these were like Diamond Zion was a new card. Pink Diamond Iverson was a new card. Um, so that's what basically... Um, we had there as well as other cards we had and then 2k22 was actually a really interesting locker code i'm going to show you guys here as you guys can see santa bg in the bottom left hand corner this was before i moved out of my parents house but like when it came to like we got a whole bunch of agendas for christmas which was cool and the big thing was was that we actually had a locker code where you could choose your card so we got five cards all these were auctionable by the way and every one of these sold for 75 kmt because there were bots buying them up for 75k. I made so much money sniping. <laughs> like, this, like, 11 p.m. I had a messed up sleep pattern. My whole family's asleep, don't worry. Um, but that was basically it. That was basically it when it came to 2K22. We had an option pack for a pink diamond. And all these cards locked in for good cards in the end. They weren't worth much because obviously there's so many of them. And I took this Larry Bird, who was in fact really, really good in game. But then 2K23 came out, and there was this locker code here. So you might be saying, okay, they're the same code, five pink diamonds. There's, a, there's two big differences. One, these are unauctionable, but I will say Dwight and Lonzo were better than any of these five. The problem is Draymond and Clay were garbage and wall was meh but you can see here pick one and what this code was ball drop so that was that was basically what it was last year it was that it was a ball drop unauctionable ball drop which people had a big problem with because it was a step back from the year before so, when it comes to 2K24, they cannot have an unauctionable ball drop. I think they are going to, but they just can't. But what it's going to be is it's not going to be a pink diamond. It'll be a guaranteed diamond. So, what I would like for 2K to do, because we can't sell these cards, and there's a lot of, like, cards are, like, a lot of people get cards to, like, lock in, for example. And of the non-locking, I don't think, other than David Robinson, unless they want to give us David Robinson... I don't think there's another card that I would say, like, is too good, and or Booker. That is, like, too good to give out for free. There's just not. So what I would love to see from 2K is, first of all, um, I would love to see, because it's going to be unauctionable. We know it's going to be in an unauctionable code. Because I do think 2K are going to give us a second code for MT. It'll be probably 50K, 25K, 10K. And it'll be, like, a ball drop for that. Or maybe it'll just be like a 25 or a 50k MT. Because if it was 25k for Thanksgiving, a 50k MT would be nice. 
if that code comes out, if you're someone like, if you're someone that's new to the game, spend that 50k, buy a team for 50k and start spent playing. If you're like an experienced player, hold out for one of the top cards. But what I would like is for 2k to give us a new player and it doesn't even have to be a pink time because obviously you guys saw when it came to the events. Um, the Ewing for 93 overall. A pink dot or a diamond would be lovely. But what I would like to see is like a diamond for a not that hype name, but a pretty good card. So let's just say, I'm trying to think of a really like well-known player that we don't have yet that wouldn't be like God tier in 2K because we already have a diamond Duncan. That would have been almost perfect. We had Iverson or Zion Williamson again. Just reuse Zion four years later. Let's just say we get a 93 overall Zion. Um, and he's got God tier stats. Because just like Ewing, his release is broken. But we get a 93 overall Zion. And then... Let me just look at the diamonds. The option pack contains... Drew Holiday. Rudy Gay. Paul George. Um, what big man can we use? Is there any other big men? Other than David Robinson? Is he the only one? Any power forwards? I don't... I, IED is probably a bit too OP. Um, Russell Westbrook. Actually, no, sorry. Because there are so many... These option packs... I forgot, like, Rudy Gay, Rosa Westbrook, you get rid of them because they're in the domination option pack. Screw it, put in Ron Artest. We're not even Ron Artest, put in Ray Allen. Um, trying to make this realistic. Kuzma's a lock-in. DeJounte Murray. DeJounte Murray for a point guard, another point guard. And then Pascal Siakam. I got a pretty decent locker code. Not a brilliant code, but it's pretty decent. So you give us four or five players... And and then um, you put in a new player. Because, like, you know the way at the Trendsetter, we had a whole bunch of Amethyst, and it was an option pack. Pretty Amethyst. And then maybe Lonzo, maybe Mikel Bridges, someone like that. But what I would love to see is an option pack, because they've given an option pack of, like, 15 for, like, Trendsetter. Make it, like, a Christmas Day option pack, where you've given us a whole bunch of diamonds, and then somebody new. Because there are people out there that have gotten every single diamond. So... For those guys with no auction house, why not like at least give them the option of getting a new player? Like a Zion. It doesn't even have to be someone good, but a Zion would be cool. Either way though, I think with, with the trendsetter packs, we've seen very few ball drop packs. The only ball drop packs we've really seen this year was like the Depoy one for Marcus All or for um Jaron Jackson Jr. But the thing with that one was Like they were all they were all like free. So they're not they're all free. It was a guarantee. If you dropped it on one side, you got one player. If you dropped it on the other side, you got the other player. So I'd love to see that on Christmas. But anyway, that is pretty much it, lads. If you guys are new to the channel, again, um, subscribing will be great. We are like 350 away. If we get somehow hit that tomorrow, it'd be insane. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.